Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do another video in the What's in My Kit series. Um, this video will be showing you what's in my Zuka backpack. Um, I have two different ones. I have the Zuka backpack and then I have the Zuka wheel case with the pull handle on it. So today I'm just going to show you the backpack. Um, this is what the backpack looks like in the front. It opens up here in the front panel and then two pockets on the side. And then on the other side, uh, there's one long pocket. And then this is what the back looks like. And it's got some padding in the back back here. I'll show you what's on the sides first. In the top pocket here, I keep um, 244 fluid. This is what makeup artists use to thin out um, makeup. So you can use it to um, like rejuvenate a dried out cream eyeliner. Or you can use it to like thin out a uh, foundation and make it more sheer. I keep some alcohol in a spray bottle here and some mild soap just for general usage. In the bottom pocket I have some Ahava face cleanser. Just a cleanser to have around for the models to use if they'd like to use something like this. It's like a cream cleanser. I keep Beauty So Clean. This is great stuff. You can use it to um, disinfect and clean your powders and your cream. So a powder compact, you could just spray some of this on here from, um, you know, like I would say about this good of a distance. And it will uh, disinfect your, your powder makeup. Razors, um, you never knew who will need them at a shoot. And some mini toothbrushes. Um, these are nice to have around. Maybe a model comes to a shoot and they've just eaten or um, you know they just have bad breath and nobody has gum or mints or anything. Uh, these are great to use. They're disposable. Just use them and throw them away. And they also have a little pick on the bottom for getting out um, anything that might be stuck in the teeth before a shoot. Okay, in my long side pocket, I have a few things in here. I have my uh, large Beauty So Clean bottle. I don't usually carry this. I just had it to store it while I was in the house, but um, usually I just keep the little one. Now, if you can see inside here, it does have a portion for uh, heat. This bag was originally made for hairstylists. So a hairstylist can carry this bag and put in like a hot flat iron or a flat, or um, I'm sorry, a curling iron. They can put it in here while it's hot and keep moving. So in here I keep a wide tooth comb. Now I'm not a hairstylist, but some things I just, I just have it on hand. Um, a lint roller. This I like to keep for, um, if I'm doing a look that requires a lot of glitter and it maybe falls down onto the person's clothing or whatever, you can use this to kind of pick up some of the glitter in a, in a quick mineralized charge water. I usually keep that in here. I realize now that it's empty, so I will have to replace it, but I usually um, keep that in this side pocket. Olive oil sheen spray. This is great for the skin at a photo shoot. Um, you can just spray some on the arms and the legs and it'll give a really nice sheen on the legs. Don't do it inside, do it outside. If you do it inside, you'll be choking. So um, this is good stuff to have and you don't need a lot of it. Wet wipes, these are just something that's good to have. Uh, it's got eyeliner or something on there. But um, these are good to have because you never know, you know if you'll need one or you know when you get makeup on your hands, you can uh, wipe it off without having to use an expensive uh, makeup remover wipe. Okay, inside the bag I have um, pouches. I have my Zuka pouches. I have a brush belt and there are other little pockets here. Now the brush belt, I use this, this one to um, carry mostly on um, my large brushes. So the other brushes, I carry them elsewhere, but my large brushes, I'll use the brush belt um, to store them in here. On the sides, I have my Q-tips in this pocket. Um, let me move it so you can see it better. 
Q-tips in this pocket, in this pocket. I keep my sharpeners in here. Down in this lower pocket, I keep makeup removers. This one is great. This one's from Sephora, and you can um, just pop the top and push down on this, and it'll come out. So that's nice to have for shoots, too. And I carry the MAC uh, makeup remover also. In my other pocket down here, I keep hand sanitizers. Just the little cheapy ones from Target. Anyone will do. I have these little blue doodads down here. These are actually for uh, mascara. Like if you're doing the lower eye and you need to get under there without getting onto the skin, you can use it for that. In my first uh, Zuka pouch, this one is my lips bag. Now in my lips bag, I have several lip glosses and lipsticks and even uh, lip tattoos in here. So I'll show you some of those quickly. My first bag of lip glosses I have in a Makeup Forever uh, zip bag that I got from Nanis. And just open it up like that. And all my lip glosses are in there. Now, in a perfect world, I would have a couple of these to be able to separate them, maybe like nudes and reds and pinks and, um, you know, any bright other colors together, but there's just not enough room right now, so I just um, put the ones that I can carry in here. Miscellaneous lip glosses that don't fit in the pouch. These are my NARS lip lacquers. I love these. I keep some OCC lip tars in here. Lipsticks that haven't been depotted yet are in here. My Lime Crime lip glosses I keep in here as well. NARS uh, lip pencils. MAC lip palettes. These are really great for uh, staining the lips. So, and you can you can build on it also. Now, all my lipsticks, um, other than the loose ones that are there, all my other ones live in these uh, Makeup Forever uh, flash palettes. They're just empty palettes, and um, I bought them at Nimi's, and I just depotted all my lipsticks and uh, pushed them in here, and then I write on the back so that I know what it is. I'll probably redo it, maybe type it out so it looks a little bit cleaner. But, um, yeah, all of them are in here. Makes it really easy for an artist because you don't have to look at the bottom of the lipstick and find out which one it is because before you look at the bottom, they all look the same. So keep some lip conditioner. And these are my lip tattoos by Violent Lips, several different kinds. They look like that. In my next pouch, this is my eyes bag. Um, I keep all of my uh, pigments in here. Um, any small eyeshadow palettes, I keep them in here. Um, other than like my bigger eyeshadow palettes, which I keep somewhere else. But um, I'll show you what I have in here. I keep my MAC uh, cream palette in here. Looks like that. I have two pouches that I keep my pigments in. These I got from the container store. Fairly cheap, but I think these were uh, eight bucks. They have a little clip ring on them too. So in here I keep um, all kinds of Makeup Forever pink pigments, MAC pigments, OCC pigments. Uh, what else? I've got uh, Sugar Pill pigments. And they all live in these pouches. And at the bottom of my pouch, I just have um, miscellaneous eyeshadows. I have some MAC Crest pigments in here. I've got some cream color bases in here. Uh, Maybelline. Are these Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline uh, color tattoos. I have some in here. And um, little palettes like my Chanel uh, palette. I keep it in here. And that's it for the ice. 
Okay, in my last pouch, this would be my powders pouch. Um, I keep mostly pressed powders in here. I have a few um, bronzing or highlighter uh, loose powders in here, but mostly my pressed powders. So I will show you what's in here. In the loose family, I have Max um, Golden Bronze. This is like the best, um, I would say, uh, iridescent powder for dark skin. You can use it on any skin, but on dark skin, it's just especially pretty. Um, Truth and Light Powder, another really, really pretty highlighting powder. Silver Dusk Highlighting Powder, really, really pretty on lighter skin. Now in here, I like to keep um, a lot of mineralized skin finish powders. So in all different colors, I keep those in here. Studio Care Blend Powders, love these. Really, really nice finish on these, kind of like a velvet finish. Look like that on the inside. Keep those in all colors. Blot powders I keep in here. Bronzers, this one is by Ariba, Artiba, I'm sorry, in uh, the color Terracotta. I love this one. I don't even remember where I got it from, but um, I'll have to look it up because I'm getting low on it. So, good stuff. Victoria's Secret Highlighters. Um, this one is one of my favorite highlighters. It's the most prettiest highlighter I've almost ever seen. I love it on my skin and lighter skin colors. It's a little bit too bright or light for a dark skin, but um, really, really pretty. Makeup Forever Shine On Powders. Pretty on dark skin. This one is really pretty like on a medium skin. This one is in number five. And that's it for my powder bag. Also, you guys, there's a net pouch in here on the inside. I don't usually put anything in there, but you could use it for whatever you'd like to use it for. Um, there's a little pocket here. It doesn't go down all the way, but it goes down about half. You can put some stuff in there as well. A little yellow uh, strap. I don't know exactly what it's for. I'm guessing you can put something in there and maybe fold it over. No, because there's no other Velcro. I'm not sure what that's for, so I have to find out. But um, that's it. That's what I carry in my Zuka backpack. Um, hope that was informational for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.